March of the Machine Aftermath is finally upon us, and look at all these legendary creatures that die to a two-mana removal spell. I, d I wasn't really too excited about this, but there was one card that stuck out to me, and that was Plargan Sorry. I think if you could untap with this, then you're probably just going to win the game. Like, right now, the, the decks are so powerful that if you're able to cast one or two cards from them just, you know, exiling the top non-land card, yeah, this card's kind of insane. Is it better than, like, running another Invoke Despair and maybe another Shieldred? I, I don't know. Probably not, but I really want to give this card a try. We're going to force this into this Rakdos list. We're actually going to do some best of one, so I'm playing a little bit more removal. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's try out Plarg and Sorry. We'll return to the video after a quick word from our sponsor. Do you like cereal and Magic the Gathering? Then you're gonna love Magic Puffs. Puffs. Loaded with nutrients, it has all the flavor you could expect. Get yours today. Magic Puffs. Well, we do have a Plarg and Sorry here. Uh, pretty light on land, but maybe we'll try it. Alright, getting that land was a good draw. I'm gonna kill this now. You can go removal spell, removal spell, and hopefully an invoke despair or a plarg. Plarg. Alright, that's not really the card we wanted to see right now. I'm just really hoping I get to play it and untap with it. Mm -hmm. I'm probably just going to cut down this. I want to save the go for the throat. All right, that's what that's where I needed to draw a Fable, the Mirror Breaker right there. Big score could be okay. If I can just hit that one. If I can hit one more land drop. All right, it's another... Uh, we'll probably kill it this time. The Disturb is kind of annoying. But it, I don't want to fall too far behind. And we're falling behind. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and discard this breach. Try to find a land. Found a land. <laughs> if I draw a land next turn, I'm going to slam the Plarg and Nasari. I wonder if they missed a land drop right there. That's why they didn't want to play the aura here. We are going to need to deal with that. Um, I think Invoke is eh, probably weak here. I really would just want to hit a land drop, so that's why we're discarding that. And we're going to kill the Weaver of Harmony, because that card will destroy us. I think we're doing okay. Alright, this is going to get bad for us, though. It's a 7-7 seven, seven with lifelink. Let's just block. Alright. Um, well, Nasari's not going to save us here. I need to draw a removal spell. All right, we drew it. But it's starting to feel like we're not going to get to play our Plarg. Oh, that's a, that's a legendary enchantment, my guy. All 
Actually, like an Invoke Despair here would be really strong now. Now I'm wishing we had an Invoke. All right, it's Plague time. Hopefully they don't have a way to give it flying. Okay. No! Uh, that's audacity. All right, well, we're not dead yet. All right, Plarg, what can you do for me? <clears throat> I saw a Shieldred and a Calyx. All right, we'll play your Calyx. What does this do? When it enters the battlefield under control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. When Calyx or an enchanted creature you control does combat damage to a player, you may create a token. That's a copy of non-legendary enchantment you control. Okay, well, this has trample. It's gonna make my Plarg bigger, because I'm probably going to have to block this. Alright, we really need the opponent to whiff. Alright. That's a whiff. Um, but they just get this back, right? Since the enchantment falls off. All right, we exiled a fable, a mountain. All right, we're gonna get a generous visitor. So generous. It actually might make sense to save this invoke for next turn. So I think I'm just gonna attack. Uh, well, they drew a creature, so that's not good. All right, let's just get rid of this breach. It's not doing me any favors right now. Now we're going to draw the lands we need for it. There's another Shieldred. We'll take the Spiritic Companion. We needed that dress yesterday. All right, I don't know if Plarg really helped us win the game there, but it did find us some value, I guess. All right, I think this is good. Removal spell and the Trespasser. Seems reasonable. No Plarg, but... Yeah, another Swamp is not really what we wanted. But it's probably on blue-white aggro, blue-white humans, maybe. Soldiers, whatever. Um, I'm, I actually am going to go for the throw at this, even though it feels kind of weak. I don't want them doing any shenanigans with that, flashing it back in with that. Uh, that blue flyer, I can't remember the name of it. Plus, I don't want them to get too wide. Another resolute. 
Duress is pretty much worthless in this matchup, but we'll we'll use it just in case. Yep. No surprises here. Just attack. Their hand is actually pretty good. This might be hard for us to beat. I could have a nice uh, Chandra sweep here, but I could get rid of their two best cards, which will probably be Sky Strike and Harbin. All right. They are going to just start drawing a ton of cards, though. Brotherhood End is kind of a card that really fell off, and, you know, it's probably worth bringing it back in Best of One. All right, we've got some 4-4s, four though. And we do have some nice power. They are going to get pretty wide here, though. Really, if we draw a mountain next turn, then I think we'll win the game. I mean, if we go, like, a red source into another land to play Breach, I think we'll be in good shape. Breach into a Tali. But we are going to have to deal with this to win the game. Uh, that's awkward. But we'll just keep the attack going. I'm thinking they're... I mean, it's pretty obvious they have a, a counter spell now. Like, they didn't want to... They didn't want to play either of these creatures, so they're just sitting on a counter now. Our duress was like a, a few turns too late. So, even if we draw land now, this breach is most likely just going to get countered. Don't think we're going to win this game. Next turn they can just uh, play their Harbin and attack for lethal. All right, well, there's the mountain. There's no way this resolves. But we have to try. Oh, my God, it resolved? What is going on? I was ready to click concede. All right, well, slip out the back is pretty bad, too. If we're going to just let our Chandra die. <laughs> Not like we really have a choice. I mean, they can just attack it with the Sky, Sky, Sky Strike Officer, but we're just going to attack here. <clears throat> All right, well, now, now I feel a little bit better <clears throat> that they probably don't have a counter spell, and I can play my Breach next turn. And their Harbin, since they're chump walking, the Harbin's getting a lot worse, too. Actually, will this... Didn't I have an interaction with this? 
I don't think so. It says choose a creature. It's not like targeting it. <clears throat> I mean, maybe they have a counter spell and they just seem crazy they wouldn't counter that, though. All right, what we got? What do we have from us? We have a, we have an Atali, or we could get a Chandra. If they have another slip out the back, then Chandra's a lot worse. I mean, Natalie's so tempting, though. I gotta take Natalie. It might not be better than... Uh... I'm gonna take the Sky Strike Officer, too, I think. Taking Natalie might not be... It's probably worse than Chandra, but... Oh, come on. Pretty pretty horrible for us there. Um I don't really want to play slip out the back. Yeah, we're just gonna decline that. <clears throat> Um, I think we're actually dead here, aren't we? I guess I probably, I probably should have taken Chandra so I could kill this, but, because Atali was just horrible for me. I don't think I'm dead because they chump blocked. I was thinking they could have activated that and got the five creatures with flying. Uh, I guess I wouldn't have been dead, but I would have been pretty close. <clears throat> What is it? Ten, nine mana to flip a tally? I only have seven. Itali, you let us down. All right, big draw here. Ooh, um... Play this first. Maybe we can get a removal spell because we're going to have to kill one of these. Actually, will this just be lethal? Uh, no, because they could still activate that. Wait, no. This is lethal, right? I can... Uh, yeah, this is just lethal, I believe. Actually, no. They're going to gain four. Go to 11. Uh, play block here. That's actually 11. They're going to need to activate this, but I can cut down it. So I think this is lethal unless they activate the Fortified Beach. Uh, yeah, I think this was close, right? Oh, okay. They could still activate that as well. Yeah, I mean we couldn't beat these two flyers. I, I, I should have took. I should have taken Chandra. Mistakes. I don't know if it was a mistake, but I mean we knew that kind of going into it. Wait, they didn't. Am I crazy? Like one, two. Oh, it's because they. Yeah, they. They. Wait. Wait a second. 
They should have... Uh, couldn't they have won if they didn't play the Aganjo? And they blocked... They could have activated... Uh, they could have activated this to gain one more life. Right? They would have taken 11. They were at seven. They would go, they would activate this. This would be five they gain, they go to 12. All right, we'll take it though, that's close. All right, uh, I'm gonna say it looks good. We got a plug. Stutter than being on the draw looks good. Playing against some poison. I'm just gonna kill this now. So I don't have to play around Tyvar's stand or anything. Any other shenanigans they might have? I feel like I'm saying the word shenanigans too much. It's a stupid word. Pro tip is just kill their stuff as soon as they play it, if you can. All right, really need to draw something this turn though. Uh, whiff, 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 whiff. I mean, Shieldred, that was, that was that turn might have been the game. Yeah, missing a turn three. Play against uh, Infect. You can do it. You can figure out Proliferate. There you go. Uh, fuck. That was a mistake. I meant to play the Sulphur Springs. I didn't realize we already had two mountains. So I can't invoke Despair next turn. But I can play Plargan Sorry, which is an awkwardly 5-4 against their 4-4. They could have made it a 5-5. 4-5. All right, no spells, no spells, no spells. No tie bar stand. Seems like if they would have tie bar stand, they would just insta attack, right? Insta attack with no fear. If I'm them though, I would still think I would have to attack here. Okay. Let's play our Plarg. Wow, what is in their hand? You can even let me untap with my Plarg just to just enjoy it. All right, this will probably be our last game. I, I wish we could have played some more Plarg, but I don't know. We played him twice so far. And we got to use his activation like three times in that first game. So that was kind of cool. Maybe he'll come up again. Probably if you want to play more Plarg, you got to play best of three. More grindy matchups. He's it, The card's probably honestly a lot better in best of three. When you're... Uh, like that, that's such a mid-range card. I didn't really get a good value off of them in that first game, but before I recorded this, I did get a um I did get to play an invoke despair off Plarg, which was pretty cool. Man, didn't even wait to see if I was going to block. Just no respect.
I wouldn't have blocked, but... I don't know. Mono Red's probably not a great matchup for us. Our deck's kind of slow. That's a lot of Phoenix chicks. All right. Evoke's not really that powerful here. Need to draw, like, a shield raid, probably. All right, well, Invoke got better since they played that. And Invoke got worse. Mm, awkward land to draw. Pretty much need a shield raid right here. That is not a shield raid. Guess we can draw a card. <laughs> Come on, deck. Okay, okay. I think that cut down might be a little too late, but uh, it's something. This card's actually nuts for mono red. Four damage. Maybe they'll attack their battle. Nope. All right, so we can't really play Invoke Despair because they'll just kill us. Maybe, I was going to say, maybe we could find like a Graveyard Trespasser there. We're at one. Okay, we're not dead yet. Here we go. Don't find burn, don't find burn. All right. Um, man, I could play Invoke Despair. Really, really, I need to find a Shieldred. If I can find a Shieldred here, I can use this Blood Token, and I can plus with Chandra and pump with this. Uh, I can gain two life from the Blood Token. All right, we're gonna get a look at some cards, and we're gonna get a draw. Okay, there's Shieldred. Oh, baby. That's actually like best case scenario right there. Um, let's just plus, then we don't have to use our treasure. All right, well, well, we're still dead to a few things, but man, we really needed like one more land here and I could have done it again. But uh, yeah, let's get in there. We can't, we gotta do some damage here. We can win next turn if we can just all right, if they just don't hit a three mana or three damage spell. A strangle. Strangle's not going to do it. <laughs> oh my god. Look at us now. Just in absolute control. And a breach off the rip. 
Let's just draw some cards. Let's draw six cards and absolutely destroy him. Feels good from the depth we rose. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the games. Yeah. I'll see y'all next time.